Because for Aster, I was like, how am I going to do this, like, guy? Like, I just wasn't really feeling it, per se. And I'm like, he's a fashionista, and he's, you know, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, and then they gave me a couple characters. They said he's a bit like Niles from Fraser, and he's like Felix Unger from um, The Odd Couple. And, I, and that was a show that was, you know, before I was born. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I had never seen it. I did some research, and I'm like, I see what they mean. Like, he wears these really fancy suits, and, you know, he's got, he's Looks very uh, fastidious, like and he's very, like, everything has to be a little bit perfect. And then, so I had to just kind of layer the character and be like, he's, he's a little bit like yeah. that, a little bit like this. And Doing just, that is, like, so good for auditions, too, and, like, every character, I feel like when you like can compare it to other characters that you know and are familiar with. You you know, it's funny, I came through theater sports, right? And, and, and when you're coming through comedy, um, I, there was this one girl who was ahead of me and she was such a mentor for me. I always watched what she did. I thought she was hilarious. And then one day someone said, you know, you're kind of acting like her on stage. And I felt like, oh, and I thought, oh, I am. And so then I tried to pull back, and, <laughs> and, and, then, and then I morphed into my own performer. And then it was so funny, because a couple of years later, there's a girl coming up behind me, and everyone said, she's doing you. She's totally doing you. And I was like, we'll, we'll tell her. <laughs> and, so, and then she was like, everyone says I'm doing you. And I was like, yeah, do me till you do you. You'll figure it out. And, and it's kind of true, and I noticed that with a bunch of the guys, too. It the really strong personalities kind of people, like, you know, like when you're in a friendship and one friend does something funny, you start doing it and you start doing the funny thing and then you start doing it better and then you make it your own. That's kind of in general, for comedy anyway, people borrow and lend from each other till it becomes their own thing and, and that's totally normal. Especially with comedy, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Because there's totally like normal. physical things or just yeah. a style of humor, sense of humor. It's almost like, like a imitation is the highest form of flattery, right? Because I've been around such a long time and I came through theater, which is very much about the work. Like when I was in theater school, they were saying, don't read your reviews. Because if you read the reviews and you believe the good ones, then you have to believe the bad ones. And all they are are people's opinions. And all you have is your work. So don't read them. And so that's kind of like what was drilled into me. So now I see this whole, I mean, I, when I was in theater school, we didn't even have cell phones. So now I just see this world where, you know, people are saying, you suck right away, or saying, you're amazing right away. And the key is, you cannot believe any of it. It's so irrelevant. True. It's irrelevant. How many followers you have doesn't mean you're a good actor. How many followers you have doesn't mean you're a good person. It, all you can do is be good at what you do, and the rest is just noise that might help you, you know, get on the cover of People magazine or whatever it is you're trying to aspire to, but that has nothing to do with whether or not you're good at what you do, and that's what you are, is the actor. So th this cult of personality, I think, can be kind of detrimental to an acting career and to your own personal and individual development, and you have to have a self-awareness about it and really just know what is important. It's true. Yeah. From, from like, I started, I started on YouTube, so I started with the whole social media thing, like, before I even got into acting, and it's just like, like, people are going to say, like, the meanest thing. Yeah. People are going to say the nicest things. Like, there's going to be people, like, hating on you no matter what you do, and it's just like, you, like, honestly just have to ignore it because it's just like, yeah. okay, I don't... <laughs> like in my mindset, I was just like, I don't know this person. Like you don't know me. Like you don't know who I am. You don't know like if if I'm a good person, if I'm a bad person. Like you don't. You've seen a three minute video that I put on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. or you've seen like 140 characters of a tweet that I've put. Out, you yeah. know what I mean? It's just like, so I like try to whenever I think about like even like other famous actors like Justin Bieber or whatever, and it's just like, oh, it's like oh he did that. Like you see hear him doing stupid things on the news. It's just like well I don't know him. Like I shouldn't be saying like he's an idiot or like you know what I mean. Life on set, it's good to do It's that. fun. Yeah. It's yeah. fun. Um, my favorite thing is when I work, like when you just sit off at the side with the actors, we all just goof around. It's like true. We all just goof around. It's really fun. And it's neat that Colton and Charlie have a bit of a musical influence because you, you'll yeah. see we are like having a jam at lunch. Yeah, we always whatever. jam at lunch. Like, like we're always cool. rapping, making beats, like whatever. Not me. I'm not. I'm yeah. Not rapping. Sometimes. Not doing that. <laughs> it's all. Yeah. No. It's fun on set. Like. And the crew is really fun too. Like the you actually, really you, you end up becoming really almost like the actors are great, and you're all kind of we're this acting department, so we all have each other's backs. But you're almost more you deal more with the crew than you do with each other. Like, um, like even for my bubkiss, I mean, I'm always with the special effects makeup guy. Jamie. And then, uh, and then you're always with makeup a lot for hair and makeup, and yeah. 
they're always touching you, they're always in your face, touching you up. And uh, it's, it's, oh. it's important. <clears throat> I mean, in general, it's important to be nice to everyone because you never yeah. know who anyone is uh, for, in general, just in life, but especially when you're on, to be professional, like your hair and your makeup people and your wardrobe, like they talk, like people talk, like word will travel fast. So yep. if you're like bad mouthing some other actor or something like that, yeah. like it's like, boom. So fun. One, uh, this just comes to mind, the, ba <laughs> the bad acting thing. I remember taking a workshop uh, when I got out of theater school, taking a, a, a film and television workshop. And you know how they, you get to see yourself afterwards? I was seeing myself and I was mouthing the words that the other person was saying to me back to them. So I was like, uh, so my lips, like my <laughs> lips, genius. my lips were moving like thing what they were saying, but because in my mind I was reading it off the page instead of listening, and that was my first real lesson that acting is like listen to what the person's saying. Don't just be in your head with your own experience of, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but but it was so in that that was a time when it was really good to see myself because I was horrified. It was just like so then I anytime I felt my lips moving I would just go don't. <laughs> and then I'd have a strange look on my face. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's uh, one of the pitfalls. You'll find yourself doing it from time to time. You never experienced that? I did. No, when I found yeah. out, when I found out reaction stuff, like I just didn't get it for like the first three years of my yeah. acting. When I f figured out reaction stuff, like that helped me big yeah. time. Like that was like, that's that I see that as one of my turning points yeah. in yeah. my acting career me already. Too, and it's just like reacting to stuff and just like, being in the scene and like it helps you with everything like reacting helps you with everything reacting helps you memorizing your lines yeah. it helps you like look like like a better actor it makes you more yeah. like just everything i know jim carrey um there's a famous story about how he wrote himself a check for 12 million 12 million dollars yes and, i and love the story he just kept it in his pocket <laughs> and then finally he got a role that was 12 yeah. million dollars so it's all about um you know uh, Visualizing putting it. visualizing and positive reinforcement and yeah. but one of one of the uh, interesting things that came from that I heard him talking on Oprah he basically said you have a goal and every time a, a, a situation presents itself you ask yourself will this take me closer to my goal and even if it's uh, should I uh, smoke this joint will I become prime minister or whatever your thing maybe you will maybe you won't but that it, whatever your goal is Every ended, single yeah, choice every should, choice. and the brutality of it, if you're really driven, is should I date this person? Should I have a, is a relationship a good idea right now? Um, should I move from this city? Should I take this job as a waitress? Should I take this, that everything goes to, will that get me closer to my goal? Yeah. That, uh, that that was what he did. It's so. really good to do, and I, I did it like, even, I've done it a lot since um, I moved to Vancouver, and you just, you know, write your like a weekly goal, then write, you know, monthly goals and write like yearly and like a five year plan and like everything. So like within five years, I want to be making at least, yeah, 50 grand, right? Like within, yeah. you know, you, you just, and within the week, well, I want to get my website presence up and then like in the month, like I hope I want to, but not even I want to, like it, the way I do it is I write it like as if it's already happened. So like with that trip, like say for San Francisco, it's like I'm in San Francisco and I'm like on the yacht and I'm, you know, eating the food and we're like going underneath the Golden Gate. And literally, like I was there, I'm on the boat, we're like driving underneath, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge. And like, it, you just write it with detail. And the more detail you can write your goals, the better, like. You know, I had a vision like, board. I don't know, you like, you, board, you know what a vision board is? So like, I just had like a cork board in my room and like, I'd be like, oh, like one day I wanna have a penthouse in LA. So I like, put that on my board. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna, I wanna have my own sitcom, yeah. put that on my board, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I wanna be but on if, a Disney show. Like my, my, at my school, like my drama program wasn't very good. My film program was like terrible. Like we had a, my band teacher was teaching the film program and he just did not care about the film program. Yeah. So when I was in it, it was like the biggest slacker course. Like we had all these people that weren't really into it. Like they didn't want to make films. And then it's like, I got with my one friend who wanted to make something. I was like, let's like actually do something like awesome. Like let's make a sick short film or something. Like let's do it. So we like looked, we found like a little festival, like made a film, like asked the principal if we could like use his office to film some stuff. Like we like, we like did it and we like made a really good short film out of it.